Okay, so my little sister needs a break, so it's back to another one of my theories. Today's prediction? The portal door was designed by the Collector. Part 1. Throughout the second season, Luce studies Philip's diary, attempting to unlock the secrets behind the mysterious portal door. But I don't think that Philip ever designed a portal himself, and that it was instead the Collector's guiding hand that helped someone else to make it. When we first see the schematics for the door in Philip's diary, we've yet to learn of his desire to meet the Collector, so I think that rather than making his own portal with the insight of the Collector, he's instead learned about the Collector from whoever had the door. And he even confirms this notion when he says he doesn't need the Collector to get home. As Evelyn was able to travel between realms, I believe it was her family who'd made the portal door, and as Ida later finds it on her family's property, it's safe to assume that her family is Evelyn's. Therefore, I think it was the Clawthorns that had knowledge of the Collector a long time ago, and that he was the one who told them how to harness the Titan's blood, with Philip later stealing this information from them. Furthermore, the window on the Owl House is very similar to the Collector's eyes, and as it used to be a part of Ida's father's tower, it further implicates the Clawthorns as students of the Collector. Perhaps they were even the ones who buried him in the skull, and that this is why Philip was able to find him there. But then how does the Collector know so much about Titan's blood? Follow for the next part to find out, and don't watch the stupid freaking leaks, goddamn. Edith's portal was designed by the Collector, part 2. In the last part, I predicted that it wasn't Philip who designed the portal door, but instead the Clawthorns of Yore with the guidance of the Collector. But then how did the Collector come to learn of this magic? Why does he know so much about Titan's blood? And if he needs a Titan's blood to accomplish all of this, how could he then become best friends with King? What else don't I know? What's gonna happen? Throughout the series, Titan's blood has become the key to several characters' objectives, but in each case, its end result would have always been the same. Opening a portal between realms. Not only has this been the goal of both Luce and Bellos in trying to return home to the human realm, but also the main goal of the Collector as well. As the Collector is trapped within the in-between realm, a place that can only be accessed via Titan's blood. He's entrusted the task of finding this blood to both the Titan Trappers and the Emperor, as he's able to communicate with them through his tablets. The Trappers believe that they have to kill King to summon the Collector, even though they really just need him. But I think this false belief is deeper than a misunderstanding, and is instead rooted in an ancient conflict between the Titans and the newly revealed entire race of Collectors. As the Collector is asking King to read him this same information as a bedtime story, I don't think he fully understands the history of his people, and I think he genuinely just wants to be King's friend. But then what was this conflict between the Collectors and the Titans, and why does Lucy this portal transform into this. Follow for the next part to find out. And don't watch the stupid freaking leaks, goddammit. The portal doors were designed by the Collectors, part 3. In the last part, I said the Collector had a personal understanding of the power of Titan's blood, and that he'd use this to help the Clawthorns build the portal door. But I think the process of creating one of these portal doors is actually part of a larger system, and I think that's what Luz had experienced with her portal. In the recent trailer, we got the revelation that there used to be many Collectors, all with a similar purpose, and I think this sense of purpose might have gotten out of hand. I think that in their goal of preserving life in any way they see fit, they wanted to be free to do this in all other realms as well, branching out across the cosmos as children of the stars. However, even in their abundant power, they were unable to travel between realms, as the Titans alone held this power in their blood, and so the Collectors needed their help to accomplish this goal. But the Titans didn't see it fit to invade other realms, and so they refused to support the Collectors and their agenda. Enraged at being boxed into this single reality, the Collectors waged war on the Titans, attempting to take their power for themselves. And among killing several Titans to perpetuate their goals, they'd experimented with their blood, creating a system for summoning these powerful portals, a schematic embedded within the fabric of reality that when followed correctly results in a proper portal door. In yesterday's lie, Luce successfully opened a portal into the in-between realm, but the the portal didn't just appear in the frame that she'd built, like Caleb's portal and thanks to them. And it's not at all like the natural pools described by Philip, as it was instead completely transformed into an entirely new door, thus suggesting that this isn't a natural magical process, but that instead, it was designed, that written somewhere in celestial magic is the blueprint for summoning a proper portal door, and that in studying the journal, Luz was then able to read this blueprint, and that she could activate it where Philip couldn't because she had the Titan's blood. With the Collectors as the masterminds behind the entire portal system, anyone following the instructions would receive a proper portal door, and so this is why Luz's portal transformed the way that it did. She didn't make her own portal door, she just followed the steps necessary to summon one from the Collectors. And in terms of their battle with the Titans? In the end, King was hidden away and the Titan was killed by the Titan Trappers, but not before imprisoning the Collector. And the rest of his kind? Well, that's what I think we're gonna find out soon. Follow for the next one, and don't watch the leaks.